In this lesson, we'll learn about design files, take a tour of the Figma design editor, and talk about file preferences. Design files give you the tools you need to create, share, and prototype your designs. You can create individual files to explore solutions to specific problems, or use a single file to manage the entire design process. Design files are live and always up to date, meaning multiple people can work on the same file at the same time. Your work is always backed up, so you don't need to save or download multiple versions of the file. The Figma design editor is made up of four main areas, the toolbar, the left and right sidebars, and the canvas. Let's go over each of these together. The toolbar is where you'll find tools that let you move around the canvas, create layers like frames, basic shapes, custom vector paths, and text, and leave comments for our collaborators. In the Actions menu, you'll find additional tools to help you stay productive while designing, like common settings, a search tool to find assets, and plugins and widgets. You'll also see AI tools here if you're on a paid plan with AI enabled. The left sidebar, also called the navigation panel, gives you access to the layers, pages, and components in your file, as well as the main menu and the file menu. Use the main menu to access your preferences and other settings, and the file menu for file-specific actions such as renaming the file, moving it to a different project, or viewing the version history. While we're here, let's rename our file to help us find it again in the future. Select Rename from the file menu, or double-click on the file name in the left sidebar and enter a new name. The left sidebar has two tabs, File and Assets. The File tab gives you access to the pages and layers in your file. Use the Pages section to move between pages or add new ones. The Layers section displays every layer on the canvas, allowing you to quickly rename, reorder, and view the layer hierarchy. The Assets tab gives you access to your components. Components are reusable design elements and a powerful feature in Figma design. We'll learn more about components and create a few of our own in an upcoming video. Moving on, let's take a look at the right sidebar, also called the Properties panel. Here's where you can access information about your designs. The right sidebar has two tabs. Design, and Prototype. The Design tab lets you view, add, remove, or change object properties within your design. If you don't have anything selected, you can change the background color of the canvas, or export all the content on your current page. You can also access your local styles and variables. We won't cover all these features in this course, but you can check out our Help Center if you'd like to learn more. When you select a layer, you can view and modify the layer's properties using the settings in the right sidebar. The type of layer you select determines which property settings you see. Next to the Design tab is the Prototype tab. This is where you'll add prototype connections when you're ready to make your designs interactive. Finally, let's talk about the Canvas. This is where you'll create refine, and organize your designs. The Move tool lets you select and move objects on the canvas. Select the Move tool from the toolbar or press V on your keyboard. To move around the canvas, 
Hold space while clicking and dragging your cursor. Or slide two fingers on your trackpad in any direction. You can also press H to enable the hand tool, which lets you move around the canvas without selecting anything. To zoom in or out, pinch two fingers together or stretch them apart on your trackpad. You can also hold down the keyboard shortcut and scroll up and down on your mouse. The canvas gives you a ton of room to create and explore different ideas, so don't worry about running out of space. To prevent clutter, we can use pages to help keep things organized. Think of pages like different rooms in a house. Each page has its own canvas that you can use to organize different aspects of your designs. Use pages to track each stage of a design process, explore different layouts, store components, keep a scratch pad of ideas for inspiration, or archive older designs. Let's add some pages to our file now. Click the plus button in the left sidebar and add two additional pages. Double click on the first page name and rename it to Explorations. We'll use this page as our design playground as we build out the elements of our portfolio. Name the second page Designs. This is where we'll put our final designs together. Finally, name the third page Components. We'll use this to organize our main components as we build them throughout the course. Before we end our tour, let's quickly go over what we just learned. The four main areas of the Figma Design Editor are the toolbar, where you'll find the creation and navigation tools, the left sidebar, where you'll access pages, layers, and components, the right sidebar, where you'll adjust object properties, export content, and add prototype connections, and the canvas, where you'll build and refine your designs. Now that we know how to navigate the editor, let's talk about file preferences. Preferences help you customize your files to fit your working needs. Any preferences you set will apply to all of your files across Figma. For this course, we recommend enabling the Property Labels preference to help you become familiar with the different properties available in the right sidebar. Select the main menu in the left sidebar, hover over View, and select Property Labels. You can also use the Preferences menu to change other settings, such as Figma's theme or your keyboard layout. These preferences can be updated at any time, so feel free to try things out and find what works for you. Before moving on, make sure you have named your file, added two additional pages, and enabled property labels. In the next video, we'll kick off our design process by building a hero for our portfolio's landing page using shapes, text, and frames. See you there.